going to be basically represent the the brain. This is going to be filled with different things. You know, We've got jewelry, guns, dirty laundry, sex lies, videotape, and this is going to be the canvases collaged on here. You know, to represent what comes from there. Just kind of looking this way. I'm bring them into this space. And this is kind of like the urban catacombs, if you will. Kind of um, my interpretation of urban decay, you know, kind of um, lossy urban decay. My original name for the show was going to be Faux Ghetto, Faux Ghetto. So it's kind of that same theme, you know. Um, you know, urban remnant scraps, you know, and it's kind of double faceted because a lot of these things are panels, found objects, you know, a lot of, a lot of it's salvage stuff, you know, remake, so it kind of has that theme to it, um, you know, the ever-present graffiti, of course, you know, death, incar incarceration, this is kind of like going to be my shrine here. We have like the prayer candles. This is like kind of a, the graveyard of my of my heroes, you know, literary and artistic. You know, we got Warhol, um, John Fonte, you know, Ernest Hemingway. And we got, you know, the prisoner, the ever-present, the looming consequences of the, um, you know, a life of crime. Um, and kind of here we got the death of pop art, kind of um, representing the cliched styles that kind of a lot of people are doing now, you know, the cliched pop art, pop surrealism. Um, it's kind of my little interpretation of that. Not that, and it's obviously kind of a pun because it's obviously the cross is pop art, and a lot of my stuff is pop art, but it's kind of. <coughs> you know, commenting on that. Um, yeah, we got the graffiti wallpaper, soon to be in stores everywhere. You know. um, if you really want to take your mansion and make it look shitty, you pay me to do that, you know, that's what I do. Um, that's about it. We got, you know, um, the ever-present graffiti door representing, you know, common urban cityscape with the layers of graffiti and then buffed over, which some people say it could be more ugly than just the graffiti itself. I personally think it looks good. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of like thoughts, you know. Um, it's kind of an outpouring from my mind. It's kind of, um, somebody described it as a real bummer in bright colors. You know, some of the, some of the ideas are kind of heavy, you know. A lot of the themes are kind of heavy, but... You know, it's, it brings with that graffiti um, sensibility of coloring and design kind of thing. Um, typography, you know, art history. So, try to do, I didn't want to do just a graffiti show. I wanted to have, you know, incorporate all elements of my influences, art history, design, and everything like that. So, we'll see. Got a couple more days to pull it off, but... I think it'll, um, I think it'll work. I didn't really have t uh, too much of a studio space, so I worked on, you know, I did about a hundred of th these drawings on paper um, separately with kind of an intention to use them maybe as one installation. This kind of, everything kind of is done really intuitively. That's how I work. I think that's with graffiti, that's in folk art, you know, it's all really intuitive, so... As I came in here, I just had all these drawings. I had all this work. I wanted to figure out how to display it all, but not have it be too overwhelming. So this is kind of the solution I came up with, where it's still, you know, very a lot going on, but it's not too, too, too much. You know, got to keep it down for the person who's not accustomed to that frenetic, um, multi-layered look. But it's kind of. Um, the process I used to do all these, you know, they're all mixed media, silkscreen collage, matte medium on paper. 
And then I'm kind of taking it a step further by collaging all them and then collaging the paintings on top. So it's kind of like, you know, you know, quite a bit of layers, you know. So I like the layered look. <laughs> 